Good morning, besties, or good afternoon, I think. So today is Monday, December 13th, and it is 1 16 in the afternoon. Just kidding, it is definitely 1 46 in the afternoon. And welcome to another vlog. Um, if you're new here, my name is Tashiana. I generally go by Tash, and I'm a third year student at Oberlin College in Ohio, studying neuroscience and education. And I was on the pre-med track for my first two and a half years. I am no longer a pre-med student, but by the end of the semester, I would have completed all of my pre-med requirements. I haven't done like an introduction in a very long time. I'm currently about to go get tested for COVID because I know someone who tested positive for COVID. I know two people who tested positive for COVID. While I was in direct contact with them without a mask on, I was certainly around other people who may have been around them, or maybe they knew someone who was around them who knew another person. And so it just, it's just the safest thing for me to do is get tested for COVID. So we're headed to that appointment now on campus, and then I'm headed to class, and then office hours, and then dinner, and then math homework. We'll talk later. in a building called Peter's. Class at 2.30 and it is 2.14. This is my lead course, uh, Building Habits for Success. So it's a pretty chill class, but Mondays are just very long for me in general because of just classes in the morning, my lead class, and then I generally go to my math office hours after. But otherwise, it's a pretty good day. Um, I know I have just a challenging week ahead, which I can talk more about later. Um, but so far, so good. I started my day off right. I did my morning routine, which was nice, which y'all saw. I did some journaling. Um, so now we're here. We're getting through it. Okay, so we're currently studying for our physics exam. I feel like I haven't picked up my camera in a while. I'm having the term on Friday. So what I'm viewing right now. So I have a problem set pulled up. So this is problem set number five, I think. And then I am going through. I created a document where a problem set for review. And so this is titled. I'm so weak. Yeah. Hey y'all, so I feel like this is my first time, not only this is my first time talking in this video, but this is my first time giving like a formal introduction. I don't remember actually, I'm not gonna lie. So I try and keep my talking to a minimum of no more than three minutes now because Kias and I have a discussion where my intros are like seven minutes long of just me talking and that is why I made a podcast. But I just kind of have a lot to update y'all on if we're being honest, so it may very well go up to five minutes, so... You're gonna have to you're gonna have to um live with it it's currently you guys see that so it is 11 22 at night tuesday december 14th and i'm very tired and you may not be able to tell by the way i'm talking by the way that i look i don't know if i look tired or not i don't think i look tired just got out of the shower and i did some stretches for my lower back because my lower back is killing me today a few weeks ago my lower back started hurting me a lot so i found these stretches online and it's been extremely helpful but for whatever reason a few hours ago i just got like this really bad lower back pain and it hasn't gone away yet so i did more stretches today like eight minutes worth of stretches two times today i have a lot going on this week so i have a physics midterm on friday a debates project tomorrow i had a math problem set due but honestly y'all I kind of bullshit at that math problem set i think it was eight problems i got through five of them and like two of them I don't know if the answers were correct, but I need to prioritize physics this week because I have that midterm on Friday and my math exam is on Monday. So I feel I felt as though given that he posts the answer key, I'm just going to have to go back and review that before the exam on Monday and really dedicate this upcoming weekend and even starting Thursday and maybe Friday, even though I don't do work on Fridays, to really trying to... Um, prepare well for that exam because I don't know if I mentioned this in this video but I did not do too hot on my last math exam so I have to make up for that significantly by studying a little bit more and a bit more efficiently mentally I'm doing pretty well I think so far it's been a pretty good week it's only Tuesday honestly yesterday was actually kind of hard for me um it started off good but then I don't know Mondays and Tuesdays are just really long days for me so I'm happy that I'm practically through this Tuesday and then this is our last full week before break too which is hella nice so I'm looking forward to that week and a half off and then we're back for a few more weeks and then finals on Saturday today's Tuesday I recorded my very first podcast clap for the heavyweight champ me I felt so good it was so funny because I recorded it very spontaneously and unexpected so it was that Saturday and I was trying to study for math and I wasn't getting as far as I would have hoped for in physics and I started to get very discouraged and I just didn't have the motivation to 
even start math and so I decided to leave the library come back to my room get some dinner and just try and take a break from work and just step away from it for a little bit do some stretches listen to listen to a podcast listen to some music and when I was listening to that podcast I immediately started to feel better and I'm like you know what we're gonna record our podcast right now because now is the time um, because podcasters make me really happy and when I say I was smiling the entire time I was recording that podcast y'all smiling the entire time it was such a good time it's an hour long i went back to edit the podcast i think the flow was nice um so i did very very like subtle edits if any i still need a name i'm thinking about 20 something black girl or 20 something black woman um someone recommended to me that it should be thin air podcast because when i posted that i recorded my podcast online i said how i was literally just talking into thin air I think is what I said. Kiasta said um, I should title it. Let me actually find it. So where should we begin podcast? So I really like that one as well because I always have a lot to say but it's like where do I even start with this? Where do I end? Now I need to stop chatting and stop distracting myself and start working on this assignment and then set this alarm right now for 5 a.m. because there's no way that I'm finishing this tonight. I might but uh, I'm gonna get sleepy very soon. I'm already am sleepy. Heather Beth Johnson clearly expresses the way to in such a choice that we are black families to have access to wealth. it's 1205 and honestly I've made decent progress I genuinely believe that if I set my alarm for 5 a.m. and I wake up hopefully and I open my computer I can finish this I can get this done so with that being said I'm gonna sleep for five hours <laughs> so chaotic oh my god okay have a good night y'all systems across the country Fools. And um, as my partner against and the lack of deviation, their open ended ideology on how these can be quite biased and rooted in racism. besties good morning it is thursday december maybe the 16th 16th 17th yeah i think it's december 16th it's thursday it's about 9 45 ish in the morning i'm leaving the elementary school which is right behind me as i do monday through friday around this time i'm so appreciative for the work that i do at the elementary school i genuinely love working with children so so much it's like no matter what career path i choose or where i kind of go in life whether it is volunteer based work or whether it is paid work or whether it's the engagement and the care that I give to my nieces and my nephew it's just something that I want to do for the rest of my life because kids are just such a joy um, and I think they provide some type of light when things are always so dark and they provide hope especially for the future especially when things are so awful in the world and as you grow and you start to become less ignorant you become more aware of a lot of the flaws in society it's really important that we kind of shape them to be like the change makers but also shape them to care for themselves to care for the people around them um, and to go out and do great things you know what I mean so I just love being able to influence children in that way and so yeah I was just so happy yesterday leaving work and they all gave me hugs the whole class did it but like there's children who give me hugs and they're like oh no are you leaving right now and I thought you were gonna help me and I'm like I have to help everyone I have to go back to college I'll be here back tomorrow hopefully and yeah it's just the sweetest little thing ever I would say Bell Hooks actually passed away yesterday if you don't know Bell Hooks um she 
was an African-American woman and she was a writer, an author, professor, a black feminist and she contributed so much to the black feminism movement. She uh, wrote a book that I read, it's called um, Ain't I a Woman, such a good book and I'm currently reading her book Sisters of the Yam. She had an ongoing illness and she passed away in her home yesterday and it was so, it was so ironic how it happened because I was actually talking to a friend, why did I say friend like that? I was actually talking to a friend yesterday and I was just explaining to him how I read a book by Bell Hooks like a year or so ago and it was called Ain't I Woman. I'm currently reading Sisters of the Yam by her and just how transformative her books have been for me and thinking about her contribution to black feminism. And I was crying this morning because it really hit me. I'm like, oh my God, like I really existed during a time in which Bell Hooks existed. Words that she contributed to this world are timeless. You know what I mean? I think that's the most beautiful thing. One thing that's really important to me our words because I think that even when our physical bodies perish and we are no longer here physically words that we contributed to this world will always be here whether these are words that are living through another human being whether it is words in the form of a published novel or a poem or a song or a rap um, or a dance because dance I, I think through dance you're also able to say a lot um, silence speaks volumes right and like just thinking about, I was just reflecting about, you know, the experience that I had when I read her book and when I just think about Bell Hooks and how she helped this little black girl or this growing black girl feel free and alive and seen more than anything because we live in a society where black women are at the bottom of the bottom um, and we're not seen by many people and we're disregarded by many regardless of what they say to us. We are disregarded and we are always the last option. And so just really being seen by Bell Hooks was really nice. Work just really changed my life overall um, and it will continue to change my life. And I know she has children books and so I'm planning to like purchase those books and make sure that my nieces and my nephew are exposed to her work because I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna lift her name up forever um, because she is very much deserving of it and she was 69 when she passed or when she transitioned and so you know I think that's a pretty long life and I'm my hope for everyone regardless of like when one passes away is that they really live their life and they did not for one second exist I know that's a personal lifelong goal of mine and I just want that for everyone else I wanted to put those words out there and this will be on YouTube forever I will always have this video forever um, of me lifting up bell hooks today and forevermore for being honest it's Thursday I have my physics exam tomorrow and then my math exam on Monday I'm gonna close out this vlog soon because I feel like it's been a decently long vlog uh, but yeah we're headed to work now I'm almost back at the school so I'll see you on a bit Jasmine's getting ready for her performance. We're literally in bio lab right now, but we're waiting on our gel electrophoresis to be done. So we're about to take a second to do this. Also, um, <laughs> yes, we're in the woman's bathroom and we messed up our agros gel, <laughs> but we're back on track and that's why we're waiting. Have some my food and stem, stem teeth. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. No, you should have. Yeah, next time. We should do it. And then some more often. <laughs> Come on. Performer. Okay, we're currently in bio lab. Okay, let's get our gel electrophoresis. Can't really see it. Okay, so this is our gel that we're running. So this is the final product. I'm literally whispering. Oh, no one sees me. This is very embarrassing. Okay, but here's our gel electrophoresis. I take it over to my professor so that she can take an image of it and then we'll be good to go. I wish I could see it in person. It looks so beautiful. Like, oh my god. Wow. Okay, y'all, this is Kiasta, although she's yelling at me because I have recorded several vlogs now and none of them are posted. Like, literally, there's one sitting. There's one sitting. Um, it hasn't been published yet, but it's there. But I just haven't published it from, like, months ago. And she's mad. I'm headed to the Fev to get dinner. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. I'll be there, you know. And I can't be in these streets catching COVID. 
Okay, so my food is here. I'm ready to try. Hello, besties. Okay, so I am back at the library and we got Deja. Campsy and then chili here. Wait, come back to me. Okay, back to Campsy. <laughs> oh, come on, a baddie. Okay, we're studying for physics now. <laughs> so I don't know why we're so happy. So happy for what reason? Okay. Hey, y'all. Okay, first of all, just check the fit. She's so cute. Look how literal. Literal. Look how literally cute I am. So precious. So it is now Friday, December 17th, and it's about almost 1.30 in the afternoon. And this is post physics exam, and I failed that exam. And you would one would think that I would be like crying right now and I wouldn't be relatively okay, but I feel completely fine. And let's just go on a little rant for a little bit, which I will save more for my podcast. But I'm at a point in my academic career where I just physically and mentally cannot stress myself out like i literally tried my best when i say that exam was so hard it was four questions and the first question made complete sense to me i almost have no doubt in my mind that i did anything wrong if i did do anything wrong it was a calculation error or me misplacing numbers but even then i feel very confident in that question those other three questions on the other hand it was literal crickets for me like we've seen all those type of questions before but the way that she wanted us to apply them completely different and we had to apply them in a way that just didn't make a lot of sense to most of us after that exam most of us were just out of it like our eyes watery not even want to talk about it like it was so bad and higher education and being pre-med in medicine like all of it it's just it's so unfair and you know it's racist it's sexist it's homophobic it's classist um and the list just goes on and i'm literally existing and navigating a system that wasn't created in mind for people like me to succeed and i just have to recognize that like these are readout courses and i see why they are readout courses and i see why people drop pre-med i see why black students choose to not go this route and black women choose that maybe they should do something else for these exact reasons you know what i mean and for it just makes me it's so funny because even though i am like no longer pre-med student and i want to go to grad school after overland it's like shit like this it makes me want to become a doctor like i want to do it out of spite now like i want to do it just to spite the entire system be like yeah ha 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 jokes on you because look your girl is still here your girl is still a doctor and i need to do some reflecting and some thinking and maybe just some crying you know but i'm so proud of myself i'm proud of my friends and my peers for just getting through it and getting through the day and still just showing up for one another i'm going to end this vlog out here i hope y'all enjoyed it i feel like i really really like this vlog for some reason stay tuned for the next vlog bye bye